All right, so you wanna get text on the screen when you're playing. You're gonna do that with what's called a user widget through UMG, which stands for Unreal Motion Graphics, I believe. It's the user interface for Unreal. So basically what we're gonna do, the first thing you need to have your player. So you're gonna have your player blueprint and we're just gonna add this one on begin play. So we've got all this begin play stuff going over here. But what we need to do is we need to create a widget that is going to have this text. So here in my content browser, I'm going to right click. We're gonna to go to user interface and then we wanna to go to widget blueprint. Now when we do this, there's gonna be a lot of options down here. You just wanna click on this user widget right here. It's gonna create a new one down here. I'm just gonna call this W for widget underscore my text example. And then inside of this, we'll come in here. And this is going to give us an entirely new interface to work with that you may not be used to if you've never done this before. But this is kind of like building in HTML in a way, almost like building a web page, web design sort of thing. So what we're going to do, first off, we need a container. And we do that down here in the panels right here. And I'm just going to drag a canvas panel onto this. Now, this canvas panel is going to be representative of the actual player screen. Now, everything in the hierarchy here, we're going to go down the hierarchy. So things are going to be inside of others. So this canvas panel is our screen. If I want to add text to my screen, what I do is I just want to, in my palette here, I want to find text. And I'm just going to drag this out here. Now I have this text block right here. And I can see down here in my hierarchy, I have the text block here underneath the canvas panel. Now this text block, how this is going to be arranged is if you see this little flower looking thing here, these are the anchors. We come over here to the details panel, we see the anchors right here. And if I drop this drop down, down, then we can see all kinds of different options. So I could anchor it over here to the left where it is. I could do it over here. I could do it over on this side. But for this, I'm gonna go ahead and do it right in the center because I wanna have this anchored to the center. So now I can take this text block and I can just move it over and we'll see that it changes the position X over here. So this is relative to the actual anchor. If I were to change that, you'll see that my position X changes. So I'm gonna change that back and I'll go ahead and set this to something like zero and you'll now see that it lines up right there. Now, if I wanted to get this centered on the screen, uh, that may be a little confusing, but I could come down here to alignment and I could just set the X to 0.5. So with the X up here set to zero and here set to 0.5 under alignment, that's going to allow us to center this. Now I can come down here to where the text is. This is the actual text. Right now it says text block. We can change it to something. Uh, my example text and I'll hit enter and we see that it changes like that. But we can also see that that broke the centering on this and that's because the justification is set to left. You can actually scroll down through here and under the appearance, we can change things like the color, we can change the actual font, the typeface, the size, all of those things. Uh, down here under justification, I'll just go ahead and set this to center. And now we can see that it's aligned to the center like that. So here we have just some example text on the screen right there. I'm gonna go ahead and hit compile and I'll save this. Now, if we wanna get this onto the screen for a playable character, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back to the BP My Player and I'm just going to add this on begin play here. Okay, so now this is going to be a three-step process. We're gonna need three nodes here. So the first thing that we're gonna do is I'm just gonna drag off of this one right here and I'm going to type in create widget. And you're gonna get this node called create widget. Now by default, it says construct none, and that is because we don't have anything assigned to this. So what we need to do is here for class, we need to assign what we just created. So I could search for it in the drop down here, or I could also go to my content browser, click on it in the content browser. We're gonna come back up here and then hit this little arrow right here to use the browser selection. Now you'll see that it says create W my text example widget, which is what the name of this is. So now the next thing that we wanna do is this is node's going to create the widget. Now we wanna store it as a variable. And for here, 
we're just going to drag off of this return value and hit promote to variable. And I'll call it my text example. It's going to be any name that you want it. But now that we have it stored as a variable, it is possible to add it to the viewport. So now we're going to drag off of this and we're going to type in add to viewport. There we go. And then we can just drag from here to here. And that's going to allow us to create the widget, store it as a variable, and then add it to viewport. So now if I hit compile, and save, I can come in here, I can drop in and play. And now we can see I have my example text there, two dimensional on the screen. So now if I wanted to remove that, how we're going to do that is I'm just going to drag off of this, I'm going to put in a delay, I'm going to give it a delay of four for four seconds. And then what we can do is we can take our my test example variable, and we can do remove from parent. And that's how you can remove this from your screen. I'm gonna hit compile, I'm gonna hit save there. And now if I drop in and play, there's my text running around and now it's gone. So after four seconds, it gets removed from the parent, which the parent in this case is the viewport. So we add it to the viewport, wait four seconds, and then we remove it from its parent, which is the viewport. So let me go ahead and delete this so you know how to do that. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here to this. And if you want to have like, say, a box or something around it, all we're going to do is we want to look at the containers, which UMG calls panels. So I'm going to come in here to panels. We're going to come down through here and let's do a box. Now looking through here, there's a lot of things in the panel section. These are all containers, but this is not going to give us what we really want when we want to just create like a dialog box. We want to do that with this thing called a border. Now, if you come up here to common, it should be under common. If it's not, you can come up to search and just search for border. But I'm going to take this border. I'm going to drag it onto my canvas panel here and you're going to see it pop up right over here. Then I'm going to take my text and I'm going to drag it onto the border and you'll see that it moves it over here. So next thing I want to do for my border, let's set our anchors to the center here. I'm going to go ahead and set the position X to zero, I'm going to set the alignment X to 0.5. And then my position Y, I'll do something like 200. So that's going to move it down. So now we can see we have this border and we have the text inside of it, but the text is kind of going outside, but they're also the same color. So first off, over in my details of my border, I'm going to come down here to brush color. I'm going to click on this and I'm just going to make it black. There we go. And then the next thing I want to do is I want to come up here to my slot area where our anchors and alignment are. And I want to do size to content. And you'll see now it creates the size based on the actual content, which in this case is the text. And if we want to make the box a little bit bigger, we can come down here under content where we see padding and we can change the padding on the left and right to say 10 and then maybe I will do 20 on the top and bottom. And now you can see we can shape the box around the text. And if we were to come to the text and we were to uh, say come in here and I'm going to hold down shift and hit return to create a new line. And then I'm going to type in something like is here to stay, hit enter, and we'll see that it adds it as a new line and our border expands to that content. So now here I have this, it's in the same widget, W my text example. So we don't need to change anything at all on the player here. And I can just drop in and play. And now we can see that I have 2D text on my screen in a little black box. Then from here, it's up to you what you want to do with this, how you want to use it, how you want to trigger it coming up, how you want to trigger it going away. And that's just going to depend upon the design that you're going for.